Hey guys, Jess from Mythical Fabrications here. Um, I want to make a big apology to all the late orders. I know we got a shit ton of fucking late orders. Uh, a lot of stuff's been going on. Um, one, we got a ton of orders, you know, just from the beginning of January to February and whatnot, which, thank you guys. But I want to make a big apology to all those that don't have their orders yet. Um, if you can see back there, all those pipes that have been sitting there through all the videos, it's because we can't get those finished. Um, what we have to do is whenever we assemble a pipe, we use the Eco 510s, and we usually have to slice off a big piece of it. Now, in order for us to do that, we need a high-speed turbine to cut it clean, cut it nice, and cut it easy every time. We can't use a chop saw, we can't use a band saw, and we don't really want to use the, uh, the belt grinder because it starts to heat up and it changes the continuity of the actual connector itself. We use a high-speed turbine, and unfortunately, as of recently, this happened. If you notice, see that nice little break on the side? Yeah, that's that's not supposed to be that way. So because of this, we can't actually hold our little tiny uh, bits that cut the connectors anymore. Um, and we really can't assemble them until we get that fixed. Now, the problem is these handles are about three to five hundred dollars a piece and we've tried looking up this exact bearing and they don't have this anymore because the piece we have has no name has no markings it's just an engraving of four numbers which i've done the search it, it relates to a thousand other things um another thing the speed of how we make them understand that these are custom made every single one is done by hand we don't have any cnc machines we don't have an automatic driller to where we just put the pipe in a piece and just pull the thing down and automatically drills no we have to use five different drill bits just in, just to drill the connector we have to use two different drill bits to uh, drill the positive hole that goes from the top all the way down the side and drilling those ain't easy um, we've had a couple pipes in the past where when we drilled that out chunks came out so that's what happens if we drill too fast so we start drilling slower slows down our speed um, I thought these newer buttons would make us a lot faster. They kind of do. We don't have to make the entire button, but since the inside diameter of the button is a specific diameter, it's literally a one millimeter smaller than three quarters of an inch. All of our acrylic stock that we got, we have to sand down on the lathe. Then the next part is the fact that we have to assemble the button, the battery and everything. And then we have to push this into it and mark off the exact depth. Because we don't have a drill bit that goes into the exact depth every time we drill out the button bay. It may be a half a millimeter more, half maybe a half millimeter less. If we don't do it right, if we just cut all the discs the same, they won't fire or they'll be sticking up about that much even when you are firing it. Um, another thing that happened recently was on our website, if, I know a lot of you guys saw that it was down recently. Well, a lot of these updates that happened that we, you know, put on and whatnot uh, changed the way that the orders look. And so we had a couple mess-ups on quite a few of them. Now, we didn't send out the mess-ups only because, well, they ain't what you ordered. Uh, prime example, Lucidius Rage. I feel like complete shit for the fact that, you know, of these pipes and whatnot, um, we had one purple one and one red one. Here they are. Unfortunately... There are supposed to be Banksia pods filled with red acrylic and one Banksia pod filled with purple acrylic. The new update on the site unfortunately made it look like there was no Banksia, it was just acrylic fill color. Well, if you can't see the Banksia part, of course our you know lead analyst won't see it and she put up just acrylic cauldrons and I didn't even catch it until I looked at the site for about 10 minutes going, no, I, th I think there's something wrong because Lucid, I'm pretty sure he picked up a Banksia and I looked and it's in a very faint font in a different part saying Banksia. So we had a we had quite a few pipes that came out completely wrong. Um, another fun thing, we also had a lot of our email accounts get shut down through Yahoo because, well, Yahoo had a breach of uh, some hacker got in, stole a whole bunch of accounts, and one of them was our services email. So a lot of pipes that got ordered through there, we lost. So we've had to reobtain a lot of that information, get all that stuff straightened out. Um, the glass stems. I just found out Envision Vapor doesn't use their main Facebook page anymore. That's the reason why they haven't contacted us back. I know a lot of you guys ordered glass stems, and you know we've sent out emails to most of you guys letting them know. Well, they haven't gotten in contact with us. 
I just finally got an email from them today, and I now have Rob's direct number, so we will actually have the Envision glass stems again. We're going through all the orders, trying to find out who who has glass stems, who ordered them, email them back, letting them know we have gotten in contact, so we can send them out. Um, but on the speed of, of a you know a custom pipe, I don't think a lot of you guys know it does take us a while. It's not something like everything else. I mean. All these mech mods and whatnot, I know you guys are like, yeah, pre-order, okay, fuck, well, we had to wait, you know, two weeks, you know, for the pre-order. Those were made on a CNC machine. The most that the hand has to do is clean it up or put the metal on the thing and that's it. They have to hit a button. All the pre-work is done way in advance on a computer one time or maybe two times if they have a version two. Every single one of our pipes is put on the lathe one at a time, done by hand. Every time. I mean, if you look in some of the earlier videos on the channel, you can see some of the pipes we've done. And yeah, I, I have a speed record of 10 minutes on one of them. Um, a lot of the new stuff we got on our new lathe, the jet, it has a variable function so we can actually sand better. We can polish better. Well, along with that, it takes a little bit longer to get the sanding and polishing just right to where the pipe looks a lot better. I mean, if you look at some of our older pipes like this guy right here, this one I did up in Washington. Um, I kind of polished it up again, but if you notice, it doesn't look the best. This was on the old lathe using old polishing and sanding techniques. I mean, if you actually saw it in person, you'd be like, that looks fucking hideous. Well, John loves it, so. But on a lot of our newer pipes and whatnot, the finish is a lot nicer. It's a lot cleaner, so it takes a little bit longer. But we want to make sure they look good for you guys. Um... You know, I do apologize for the length of time and everything, but we're we're not some big company. There is only four of us, and only two of us actually make these. You know, all this stuff, there's only two of us. The other two do the art, and they do the taxes and paperwork and orders. So, you know, it's two people versus the world, technically, when it comes to making them. Um, you know, take, for example, the flare, Brad Gross. It took him almost a year to get all those things done from the pre-orders. And he only had 250. I know we can do more than 250 pipes in a year because we'll, we've been doing that when we have non-broken materials. And everyone's happy with their flair from what I can see. I mean, everyone is. And all the people that got their pipes, you know, from us, they're happy. They understand, you know, okay, sorry it took a while. You know, sorry for getting angry and whatnot. When, when they get a piece, they're very, very happy because they see we took our time. We took our blood and effort quite a few times. It did take our blood either from cutting you know drilling actually drilling into the hand or something and they understand it takes some time um you can't you can't speed you know custom work you get what you pay for and trust me you guys are going to get some awesome stuff for what you pay for um you know i just got done talking to lucid i know a lot of you guys are angry yes we had a lot of pipes come out just uh just after you guys made your orders because at the time our high-speed hand carving turbine wasn't broken um, as of now it is you know by the time I finished up these two I was working on one connector and it just the little bit just went straight and then started going back and forth and then flew off which means it's completely busted um, you know I, I wish we could do something to speed it up um, and technically we are right now we're moving the shop it might not look like a lot of its packed but what, what the table is is going to go into two, two different boxes, but everything else on that side, which you don't see way back there, is already packed up. I already packed up all the wood, most of the tools, everything else. I got my room half packed up because I'm moving with the shop. So we're going to have headquarters here, workshop somewhere else. Um, we are going to get another employee when we move to the new shop, which is going to speed things up. Um, we're, we're trying everything we can to get things faster. Um, if you notice, I did put a four to six, uh, four to six week work uh, time on the site for all pipes and whatnot it's to try to alleviate anyone ordering now you know trying to get things done I know we do have a new hand carving piece in mind um, I'm just waiting to see if it'll work with our air pump because looking online a lot of things change and knowing that we have to spat down anywhere from three to five hundred for just this one piece kind of hurts I mean because it yeah it, it lets us carve stuff like this and by the way I'm sorry your pipe hasn't been out we can't do anything until that hand piece is fixed um, so yeah that's that's a lot of what's going on 
Um, I know we're still going to get angry emails even after this video because not everyone will see the video. I will say anyone you know that has ordered a pipe from us that hasn't received it, please share this video with them. Let them know. You know, it's it's honestly making us sick for the fact that we can't get the stuff out. I mean, not physically sick, but emotionally, our stomachs are turning because we can't do anything right now. I mean, we have a fucking pile of pipes there. We have a pile of pipes there that are all laid, nice and shiny, but, well, some are carnival wax, but they can't be finished because something of ours is broken. Um, you know, it's, I, I know it's the smallest little thing, but, I mean, you look at any big, huge gear system, you could throw the tiniest wrench into the biggest gear and it stops everything, and that's where we're at. Um, we can't guesstimate when things break. We can't guesstimate when, you know, suddenly we're going to get a couple hundred orders all at once. And when that happens, you know, it, it does slow us down, and the last of those orders, even if they happen in one day, are going to take a lot longer because we have to get to them. And, yeah, so that's a lot of what's going on. And, you know, we all apologize for for the delay, for the lateness, for the mess-ups and whatnot. I, I will say we will get everyone's pipe out. Uh, we have We have not had any pipes just not go out. We make sure everything goes out to everyone may take time, but you'll be happy when you get it, okay? So please bear with us with all our <laughs> fuck-ups and mess-ups and tool breakings and whatnot. We will get better. We will get faster. It's just going to take some time and patience. And I know a lot of you guys have been sending great emails, and I want to thank every single one of you that sent us these emails letting us know that they don't mind how long it takes because they understand the craftsmanship that goes into it. And thank you. A lot of craftsmanship does go into each one of these pipes. We don't just spit them out. We actually take as much as we can into mind with you know with your comments on what you like, what you want. We got to figure out you know every aspect of what the person is. And a lot of the times we'll actually contact those people and talk to them either Skype or you know Facebook and whatnot, and take a little bit more into mind of what they like in a pipe and customize it a little bit better for them. So. Understand we are trying. Understand, you know, being only four of us, we don't have the best customer service when it comes to answering every single last email as fast as it comes in. But we try. And half those emails that, you know, if you sent us something and you're not getting any replies back, it's because our server is not letting us reply. Um, I know Harley Ryder. I know you ordered a pipe. And um, as of right now, we can't seem to reply to you. Every time we reply, it's saying message unsendable, returned from sender, or return to sender. Um, something's not letting us email you, okay? I don't know what it is, but your pipe hasn't been started yet because we are stuck at this point, okay? Letting you know, we are going to get there, but we have to wait at this point. Um, so again, please bear with us. Be patient with us. We're not fucking you over. We're not screwing you over. We're not doing a J-Box incident. Fuck no. I don't want to just make a whole bunch of money and leave. I want to keep making pipes, making people happy because you guys love it, and we want to get people to stop smoking. You know, if it's a creative way, we're going to do that. All right, so uh, thank you for watching for the last 13 minutes and 30 seconds. I'm Jester from Mythical Fabrications, and yeah, pass this around. Let everyone know we're trying.